So as a Linux user, it's important to keep up with important news, especially for your Linux distribution. And for me, I run an Arch-based Linux distribution. And as an Arch user, you really need to pay attention to the latest Arch news because occasionally there are important changes that are made. You know, and there are things that may or may not cause you some breakage on your Arch distro. So, you know, you need to pay attention to the latest news. Now, there are several ways for you to get the latest news from Arch Linux. The most obvious is simply going to archlinux.org, and on the front page is always the latest news. There are several different ways you can go about getting the Arch news. For example, did you know that Arch has mailing lists. I know a lot of people don't necessarily use mailing lists anymore, but if you wanted to, you certainly could subscribe to the Arch Announce mailing list. That way, anytime there is an important, you know, an official announcement from Arch Linux, you get that right in your email. But that's a little bit too old school. That's a little bit too retro for most people. Most people don't want to use a mailing list. Did you know that you can actually get the Arch news from your terminal? If I open a terminal and zoom in most people that are using arch or an arch based distribution have either yay or paru installed on their linux distribution both yay and paru they're essentially front ends to the pacman package manager they're also a aur helper they can install packages not just from the official repositories but they can also install packages from the aur the arch user repository but both yay and paru have commands to actually read the latest Arch news. So the command is paru or yay dash capital P lowercase w to get the latest Arch news. And if there's nothing recent, it's going to respond with no new news. So that's with recent news. But if I up arrow and tack on one more lowercase w, so paru or yay dash capital P lowercase ww, it will spit out all the news. So not just the latest news, but you can actually go back through past news as well. So this is a very easy way to go back and read these important Arch Linux news announcements. There are several terminal-based programs that are designed strictly for reading the Arch news. One of the most popular ones is a program called Informant, and this is the GitHub for Informant. It is available as an AUR package. So you can go into a terminal and with Paru or Yay, you can install Informant, or you can also install it using Pacman if you have the chaotic AUR installed, which I do. So I could do a sudo pacman dash capital S Informant, and I believe informant is packaged in the chaotic AUR. Yes, it is. I don't currently have informant installed on this machine, so I'll go ahead and install it. Now, there are three different commands for informant. The first one is informant check, where it checks for the news. I'm going to get an error because it's unable to read some information because some of the information for the files that it needs to scan uh, are protected, right? So sudo informant check. And now I don't get the error, but I still get the output. There are 10 unread news items. If I want to read the news, sudo informant read. And you can see I can read through this item here. If I want to read the next one and the next one and the next one, and then finally no to quit out of the read. Or if I want to, I can just get a quick list of the news items. So you can see the last 10 news items and it gives me a nice little uh, summary, you know, the title of each news item. Now, one thing to note when you install Informant, if I go back to the GitHub, it does add a Pac-Man hook. Now, what is a Pac-Man hook? Well, when Pac-Man runs an update of your system or when you install new programs, a hook is triggered. Now you can have these hooks, these custom hooks, you can create them yourself, or in this case, this informant program creates a hook for you, where every time you do an update or an install using Pac-Man, it's going to run informant. It's gonna run an informant check, I believe, and check for new news. If there's new news, you have to read the news before it will actually allow you to run that install or upgrade. So, you know, that's neat, and that forces you, of course, to read the news. Now, some people will not find that very pleasant to be forced to read the news. For me, you know, I don't quite like that, so I don't use Informant, but Informant is there for those that do want to use it. Now, one of the simplest ways to get the Arch Linux news without requiring any third-party programs to be installed, without even needing a graphical environment, you can actually do this in the TTY, just using the standard curl command, which is 
installed universally pretty much everywhere. Uh, ArchLinux.org, we're going to curl this. Make sure we give it the prefix uh, HTTPS colon slash slash archlinux.org and then we're going to pipe this into less and what this does it pulls down the source code from archlinux.org the home page and of course with less you just hit the space bar and you can scroll down and of course you get all the html code and everything and you're like well this is not very useful ah but here's the thing all of the news items they have a specific tag they have a tag that is titled timestamp. So all you need to do is hit the slash to search for a string and search for timestamp and hit enter. And there is the first news item. It began with that tag. So you can read this news item. And if you want to immediately skip to the next news item, hit in to go to the next instance of that timestamp string. <laughs> and there you go. That is the next news item. In again would take you to the next news item. Pretty cool, right? That is not a very difficult thing to do. So just curl archlinux.org, pipe it in less, search for timestamp and then hit in to scroll through the news items. And finally, the last thing you could do to keep up to date on the Arch Linux news, if I go back to the website, archlinux.org, you will notice that there are RS feeds all over the place on the Arch Linux site. For example, if you want an RS feed with the uh, latest updates to certain programs, you can click on that, subscribe to the RS feed for that. But for us, we want the news RS feed. So your latest news has the little RSS icon right here. You could click on that and you know, get the URL and you could feed that into your RSS feed reader. So if you use a terminal program like Newsboat, or you use Emacs as an RSS feeder, or you use something like Aggregator, you know, if you're a KDE user, maybe you use Aggregator with a K or whatever it is, the RS feed reader. So you can always do that to get the latest Arch Linux news. So there you have it, a very quick video today, but I think it's an important topic. I think a lot of people don't take these announcements and these uh, security announcements especially seriously for their Linux distributions. And in this case, we were talking specifically about Arch Linux today. So hopefully you guys that are running Arch or Arch-based distributions start paying a little closer attention to the news. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Matt, James, Steve, Armor Dragon, Darloff, Daedalus, GDR, George, Lee, Matthew, Methos, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arch, Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Soul Ashtray, Tenrin, War Gentoo, and Ubuntu, and Willy, these guys. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode you just watched would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon, because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work want to see more videos about free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.